time. We have a go for main engine seat. Two, one. And liftoff of Discovery. Jose Hernandez was one of the seven crew members aboard the space shuttle Discovery that took off from Cape Canaveral last month. There's Jose doing a great job. It's a great, great experience, great feeling. Words can't do any justice. What's more remarkable than Jose's trip to space is his journey to NASA. It all started in central Mexico. I come from a um, very humble family, a typical migrant farm working family. My dad would load up the kids and my mom in the car and we would make the two day trip. And then once we were in California, we would uh, basically start working in the fields. Beginning at age six, Jose worked right alongside his parents picking crops. As the day ended, we were all dusty, sweaty, you know, crusty from the mud that had dried out on us. It's backbreaking. Jose's parents, who had only a third grade education, encouraged him to study hard. The kids would be packed in the back seat and my dad would always turn around and look at us and basically say, you know, this is your future if you don't go to school. Jose earned a college scholarship and a master's degree in engineering, but it still wasn't enough for NASA. I promised myself that I would do everything in my power to try and get selected as an astronaut. And, uh, and it took me 12 years because I applied for 12 years. Uh, so, you know, there's an element of perseverance. The payoff finally came when Jose was accepted into the astronaut program at the age of 41. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. It's okay to dream the impossible because if you work hard enough, get a good education, you can actually obtain the impossible and make it possible. Astronaut Jose Hernandez and um, the space shuttle Discovery, uh, as you heard, just landed days ago. Welcome home, Mission Thank Specialist you Hernandez. Thank you very much. Good to be here Welcome with you. home. I want to know that moment when you look back and you see the Earth. What is what is that like? Well, first of all, that it's it's just breathtaking, Oprah. The um, words just do not do it justice when you're able to uh, look out the window and uh, and see the panoramic view of our world. You see it as one. You know, it would be nice to uh, bring all the world leaders up there to uh, to look at our at our world because we're typically used to seeing uh, the world maps with political boundaries but when you look at it from up there it all looks at as one and and if we would bring the world leaders up there and let, let them take a look at the beauty of our planet I think uh, you know maybe I'm an optimist and an idealist but I think there would be a lot less uh, conflict in our world and probably a lot less wars and uh, we, the world would be a better place that's fantastic that's a good idea actually. Um, any advice to people watching who might have given up on themselves? You know, these are difficult economic times, and a lot of people feel badly. And a lot of people have said, you know, that shows like this one um, uh, were maybe appropriate when times were better. I think when times are difficult is when you need most to know not to stop believing. Tell us what you think. Absolutely. Uh, as you know, Oprah, I, I came from humble beginnings, and, um, and, and just like Khadija, with respect to being in different schools, uh, we, moved, we moved from school district to school district as we followed the harvest of the crops in California. And, uh, and it was a second grade teacher. She came and talked to my parents, and basically in her broken uh, Spanish and my parents' broken English, uh, let them understand that, uh, that uh, uh, my parents had some bright kids and that we ought to plant set root in one place so that we can have an opportunity to, uh, to have a good education. And my parents, in spite of them having a, a third grade elementary education, they took education very seriously and heeded to that advice and we made Stockton, California our home. And, uh, and they always sat down with us uh, at the, at the uh, breakfast table to make sure that we did our, our homework that evening, every evening. And that's the best piece of advice that I would uh, give to parents is that, you know, we need to spend more time with our kids. Uh, we need to set expectations that you think they cannot achieve because you'll be surprised at how kids will respond to you. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. Take a break. Thank you so much. Welcome home. Coming up.